Guys, it's getting more and more expensive to eat out these days but i'm gonna continue to do it so today i'm revisiting that the habit burger place and i noticed that they have their own mushroom burger going on you guys should know i can't remember reviewing a mushroom burger but in case you guys don't know i am obsessed with mushroom burgers now i'm trying to determine if there is a place that can beat the Hardee's mushroom burger because that is a good ass mushroom burger. We're gonna give this a try and see how life treats us. I'm excited because it smells pretty good, but it is loaded with a ton of veggies. I requested that the tomatoes be taken away because remember tomatoes are the devil. I get a feeling I'm not gonna like it as much as the Hardee's burger. And maybe it's because of the vegetables. Now, I'm sure that this bread is going to be much more superior in experience because it has the sesame seeds and it's not that yellow fucking bread. I wonder if the Hardee's bread is potato bread. I need to find out. I just know that that bread is the only thing, only thing that ruins that burger. This one has pickles, onion, and mayonnaise. I usually get rid of the mayonnaise, but... I decided to keep it since I was already having the tomatoes taken out. I wanted to keep it as close to the original as possible. So far, that was a good bite. Let me try another. I like it. I really like how it feels to bite down on mushrooms. I really, really, really dig it. However, I feel like these two burgers are almost not comparable. Only because what I remember the Hardee's burger tasting like, it feels like it's a class of its own. And I think that what makes me say it's not comparable is that this has all this greenery going on. And it also has that stupid mayonnaise going on. I like it this way. It's a tasty burger. But... I cannot say that it brings me as much joy as the Hardee's one does, but, but, I think I need to come back for this, but have it with just the white American cheese and the mushrooms and the beef patty and the bread. Don't give me no mayo, don't give me no pickles, and your girl loves her pickles, but don't give them to me and don't give me the lettuce. And then after I try that, with that modification, maybe I can judge this better and compare it better. Because really, the greens, it's not that these vegetables are gross or anything. It's just that the burger does not need it. So maybe I'm not having as good a time with it as I probably could because of the mayonnaise. Which mayonnaise is never an enhancement for me. So yeah, you guys, I like it. If I were at this place and I had to get something, this is probably what I would get. But I want to give this another chance and have it without the vegetables. And when I do that, I'll let you guys know. Just know that it's good, but it's not amazing. But it has the potential of being amazing. But I think in order for that to happen, the greens and the mayo has to go. All right, guys. Thank you so much for tuning in. And I'll see you soon. What's your opinion on mushroom burgers? Do you dig them? I hope you do, because I do.